Have you ever found when joining a Discord server, you get a DM, a direct message, from a bot on that server? Maybe something like this on the screen. So I'm going to be showing you today how you can use Discord PY to do this, to get your bots to send direct messages to users in your server. Hi friends, it's James and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So this is part 11 in creating a Discord bot in Python. I can't believe we're already on 11. I remember it like yesterday when we were just on part 1. And I'm enjoying it so much and I hope you are too. So as I said, we're going to be looking into how we can get our Discord bot to DM users privately. And this is a really cool thing you can do. However, just before we jump into doing this, I just want to quickly say that I've got a Discord server, so if you've got any problems when creating your bot, please feel free to join. Or just join anyway, we'd love to have you. Anyway, let's get started. Okay then, so I'm going to do this in the form of a command. You don't have to do this, potentially you could get it so when it detects that a user types a certain message in the chat. So let's say they typed dog in chat. When, when your Discord bot detects that it sends uh, that this user has sent dog in the chat, it will send them a private direct message. However, as I said, we're going to be doing this as a command just to make it a bit easier. So we're going to create a command like we normally do. So at client... Oh, I cannot spell today. At client.command, open and close brackets. And then we're going to type async def, and then the name of the function. So I'm just going to call it message, just for the purpose of this. However, as I said previously, you could do it in loads of other different forms, like detecting messages and so forth. And then we want to pass in this. We want to pass in ctx. We want to pass in um, the, the user, the Discord member that we want to message privately. So let's say, so so to do this, we do this user colon discord dot member and then a comma and then an asterisk and then comma and message is equal to none and then a colon. So let me quickly explain. So we're creating a function like we have done in the previous episodes. And then we're passing in the CTX, which if you don't know what it is, I've explained it in past episodes. We're also then passing in the user. So when we call this message um, function, we're going to type our um, we're going to type our bot prefix, which is a um, question um, an exclamation mark in my case. Then we're going to type message, and then we want to type in the user. So we're going to type at, and then whatever the user's name. So I don't know. Let's say user. You see what I'm saying here? So this user thing, this at user represents this here. And also, and the next part of this is message is equal to none. You could get it so when you type like message like that, at user, and then type what message you want, like, I don't know, hello, it gets passed into this message object. You could do it like that. However, for the purpose of this, I'm not going to do this. I am just going to set a predefined message below here. So to do this predefined message, I'm going to just type uh, message is equal to, uh, I don't know, welcome to the server. There we go. And now this is where it gets interesting. So we could do it. We can now send this message to the user in many different ways. However, the way I like kind of doing it is using an embed. So to do an embed, which I showed you in the last part of this series, we do embed is equal to discord dot embed open and close brackets title and then it's equal to and then message like that and that's basically it and then we could type await and then user dot send open and close brackets embed is equal to embed there we go and now that will now send an embed message directly via a private dm to the user so let me show you this so let's head to discord and let's run it However, heading back to the code, you can see here we've got an error. And I've realised I've made a mistake here. I haven't capitalised the member. It has to be capitalised for as that is what the name of the object is and it's case sensitive. So let's rerun this and see what we get. And look at this. We've got a message from our YouTube bot. So if we head here, look at this. Our YouTube bot has sent us a message saying, welcome to the server. That's pretty cool how you can do this. I really love that. However, I want to just quickly point out one thing. 
For a bot to be able to DM a direct message, a user on your server, the user has to have this setting, ena setting enabled. The user has to have allow direct messages from server members enabled. If this is disabled like that here, right? Then you won't be able, then you won't be able to send the messages via your bot as this blocks it. So keep this in mind. This has to be enabled for your bot to be able to send messages to users. But that, that's how we do it. That's how you're able to send direct messages to users. You don't have to send it in, in, as an embed message. You could do it separately, just as a normal plain text message. However, I quite like doing it as an embed, just because I think it looks quite nice. But I hope you found this video useful. And if this is the first time that you're seeing my series, please do check it out by clicking on the playlist icon on screen here. And please maybe do consider subscribing. We'd love to have you. But anyway, I'll catch you all in the next video.